Building Character is brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. When you think of big time high school football in Southern California, schools like Modern Day, St. John Bosco, and Narbonne come to mind. I'm at Cleveland High School, and while the Cavaliers aren't a powerhouse, this past year they've been on par with some of the big teams in Southern California in sending players to play college football. I'm excited. <laughs> Cleveland High School football coach Matt Kentel has overseen a culture change. He brought in a level of coaching, a level of knowledge that brought us into the world of college football. He brought a college level mentality into a high school program and I think that's what transformed a lot of the players here. In his second season at Cleveland's helm, Coach Gentle, or Coach Matt as his team calls him, has helped change the Cavaliers from a two-win team to city section runners-up. He's also made Cleveland a school that college football coaches know about. Um, I don't think Cleveland has ever had a signing day, so it was, um, it was cool to change the culture. On National Signing Day, Cleveland had six players signed with four-year colleges to play football, a major accomplishment for an L.A. City section program. Well, the thing with most city schools is it seems like the kids don't take the classroom as serious, and that's why we, we, we made it a priority for us going to check these kids' classrooms, having a weekly grade check to make sure that that wouldn't be the reason you don't you don't get out of here, you know, because uh, junior college route is a great route. I end up taking it, but man, it's, it's a monster. You can get lost in the sauce real quick in that, and we want to give these guys the best opportunity to go straight out of high school. On Sundays during the season and into the offseason, Gentle and his staff sent emails and made calls to every Division I, 1AA, 2, and NAIA football program, telling coaches about their players. It, it was not a problem for us to send out um, the film, that, that's the easy part for us. We send them out, man, and we, 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 it's kind of fun to us. We <laughs> sit around on our laptops, we send them out, and, and I think that's a, uh, we get joy out of it. On February 7th, that hard work paid off. To see those kids sign and come to tears and watch their parents come to tears because of it, it, it was great. Every player who signed has a different story. Isaac Garcia wasn't sure he wanted to play college football. I actually made up my mind the day of signing day that I was going to play. Honestly, I was probably just thinking about staying home more and not going out out of state, you know, and just being in, in a new area where I don't really know. My head coach, Coach Matt, you know, he kind of just gave me a great influence, like, you know, you're young, you can go experience. He told me that if you had the chance to go from high school straight to university, he would. It's just a great experience, you know be away from uh, where your normal is from. Isaiah Adams wants to be a role model to Cleveland football underclassmen. I feel like everybody looks up to us now and, and like, you know, we just want to set an example for everybody else and, you know, let them know, like, you can do this. Like, if you put your mind to it and believe, you can do it. Isaiah, the situation, every Cleveland player who signed was put into that position because of Coach Matt and his staff. No matter- I'm Mario Magana Jr. and I'm going to William Jewell College in Missouri. I decided that I'm going to commit to Duquesne University in Pittsburgh. I'm going to go to Urbana University in Ohio. I'm assigned to Northwestern Oklahoma State University. I'm assigned to... I already signed to Bacone uh, in Oklahoma. Where I'm assigned to is Missouri Valley College.